Hi there, welcome to our Maytech team interview series. This is a collection of chats aimed to better understand what each role within Maytech is all about and to feature the great work members of our team are doing. My name is Carson. I am the digital marketing executive here at Maytech and today I will be talking with Rich, our client principal based in our Bristol office. Rich, how's it going? Yeah, good to you, all right? Good, good. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me. To get started with a little bit about you, outside of work, what hobbies do you have? I mean, at the moment, not not many. <laughs> but I've got two kids, so it's kind of, you know, keeping them when they're not in school entertains. Um, most, you know, the pandemic has put 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 most things on hold, hasn't it? Um, yeah. So what do we do? I've been trying to get them out and about. Uh, I guess when when there isn't a pandemic, uh, a bit of middle aged snowboarding once a year. Nice. <laughs> uh, I also spend a, an obscene amount of money still collecting records. That's my little my little guilty pleasure. Yeah. But mainly kid stuff, to be honest. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I'm sure that keeps you very busy. <laughs> uh, before you joined Maytech, had you worked in the public sector at all? Uh, yeah, I mean not exclusively. So um, uh, I. Yeah, a mix of private and public sector. Um, there was a project, a kind of couple of couple of jobs ago that 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 really sort of cemented. Um, I get for me the the kind of the the ones to kind of focus on public sector. We we were working on a project for HMPPS, so the Prisons and Probation Service, um, as part of the then Digital Prisons Program, where we were trying to understand how in cell technology could help prisoners with you know with, with better outcomes for prisoners essentially and it was a I mean it was a hard a hard a hard project to work on but 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 so interesting and so rewarding we spent a lot of time going into prisons and actually meeting with with prisoners and, and trying to understand what their needs are and uh, equally meeting with governors and understanding about the challenges that they face uh, with you know sort of violence and drug use and mm. suicide and self-harm um, and the fact that in some areas, you know, 75% of people that leave prison will end up back in prison. Um, so, you know, trying to find a way that perhaps technology could, could help with that to, to you know, better contact with friends and family. Could they you know, help them find a job and somewhere to live for when they're leaving prison? All this kind of stuff. And it was just, you know, especially when talking to prisoners, it's a real sense that what we were doing could have not only could it improve lives, but, but save lives. So you know, that I mean, yeah, just just a a very rewarding uh, project, and yeah, really kind of got me on the track of you know public sector is definitely where where I want to be. Yeah, yeah, and I think you just touched on this a little bit, but how do you find working in the public sector? I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> I, yeah no, I love it. I mean, the fact that we're doing we're doing something that's that's rewarding, that's important, that mm -hmm. that will help people um, that live in this country. Um, access services or or information that they need um, so it kind of helps them on their day-to-day -day life but equally you know I'm sort of quite politically engaged and and you know I understand that the vast amount of money that's that's spent on huge leg legacy um, uh, technology uh, and and you know the, anything that we can do to kind of move move us move government agencies away from that and save save the taxpayer money is, yeah. is not a thing. So yeah, I mean, I find it hugely, hugely rewarding, better than um, you know, selling selling units. <laughs> definitely, definitely. And how long have you been at Made Tech? What we now? Uh, July, uh, seven seven months, yeah. nearly. Nice. So, <laughs> yeah, and it's been it's been great. I mean, obviously, you know, joined joined in a in a remote world, and mm. you know, slightly concerned that that would be that would be challenging. But it but it really hasn't. I mean, it's you know, I think. Uh, you know, obviously, it does bring some challenges, but the the sort of the the team I'm working with and the organisation as a whole, there's you know, there's a real sense of you know community, and you know, we're all working together. So the fact that it's you know, it's over this, <laughs> is, uh, you know, it's not as good as face to face meetings, but yeah, we're we're doing pretty well with it. Yeah, yeah, it's slowly getting back to face to face, but <laughs> yeah, hopefully, I've met, I've met, we've started to meet. I've started to meet a few people face to face. Yeah, it's been great. It's been really good. Yeah, yeah. And how did you find out about the company? So a friend of mine uh, uh, had joined Maytech and uh, I met her for, a, so last, what we, yeah, last summer, mm. met her for a drink, uh, just, you know, how's it going, you know, how are you settling in? And she was just so, just wax lyrical about how, how, what a great place to work it was, how good the culture was. And so I was like, okay, I think I, I, think I need to find out <laughs> a little bit more here. Right, right, definitely. And what attracted you to Maytech? 
There was lots of things to it. Yeah, there were lots of lots of things to attract me to AIDS. I think you know the sort of the sense of growth. I think the ethos uh, in terms of you know what we what we do, why we do it. Um, but but it was something that, that came from that that conversation with a friend. It was it was it was the cultural stuff actually that really really shone out. Um, the fact that the the handbook was available, mm. you know, it's public facing, so I could read that. Um, there was obviously a lot of value put in the the the, the staff, the team, you know, and uh, you know things like uh, you know unlimited holiday and truly benefit. Uh, sorry, um, flexible working and. Mm. Uh, uh, and sort of investment in learning, like, but genuine, um, demonstrable kind of, of value put on the team. I thought this is, yeah, this sounds like a, a, an amazing place to work. Yeah, definitely. And I think there's so many aspects to it that it really doesn't matter what team that you're in at Maytech that you really get to experience all those benefits, which is really nice. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, for anyone who's looking to apply, what was the interview process like for you? Yeah, it was good, it was tough. <laughs> it was, but it was good um so for me it was uh, a informal phone chat then then a, then a, a phone interview with with Rory our CEO and then a couple of more sort of more formal um uh, kind of you know, more structured interviews uh, with uh, with members from the exec team it was um yeah it was it was challenging I mean it was it was not an easy interview but it was enjoyable but there were definitely a few a few questions that caught me on the hop <laughs> um, and I've been I've been interviewing for a long time so it doesn't yeah. Happen, but yeah but it was great it was a, an enjoyable thing I mean the, the fact that it was remote was a bit of a mm. okay, well, I couldn't work out whether that was a good thing or a bad thing <laughs> it's obviously harder to read the room yeah and but yeah you know it's a bit more relaxed it's, it's the first interview I've done in my slippers put it that way <laughs> nice yeah is that a benefit <laughs> well, I, think so. I mean I think you know quite often with an interview sort of you have to get there and you have to worry yeah. about you know am I going to get stuck in traffic or where am I going to park or you know and there's a sort of the the build-up to it whereas yeah. you know it was with with a with a zoom interview it's I'll make a cup of tea wonder wonder <laughs> yeah relax a little bit before yeah, exactly. it starts but yeah no no what does your role here involve so lots I mean ultimately so it's high in principle I work with an account team on a, on a specific client. Um, so I guess ultimately we, we need to make sure we're doing a, a, a really good job for our client. You know, are we, are we delivering? Are we doing what we're supposed to be doing? Um, for me particular, uh, uh, particularly, a lot of my role is around building relationships with key people uh, in the client organization, truly understanding the, the challenges that that organization is facing and what they're trying to achieve, what their strategic uh, their aims are. Um, you know, hopefully building building relationship that means that we continue to work with our clients for, for a really long time. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's, it is, yeah, about building those relationships. It's about finding, um, finding areas where we can add more value, do more, um you know i'm i'm really keen to to find a way of, of truly working collaboratively with our clients i don't like the sort of the, the old school traditional kind of you know we're they're the client with a with a supplier you know tip it over the fence to each other i want to work um work with our clients um and, and truly collaborate um and 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 through that we we do far better work um so it's varied but i mean you know it's, it's one of those roles it's kind of no, no two days are the same yeah, which is nice though. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Uh, what do you like most about being client principal? <clears throat> I think there's a lot. I mean, there's a lot. I mean, I like uh, there's a, you know it's it's about being strategic and creative and coming up with ideas again. You know, when we can sort of add value. But I think the the best thing for me is people. This is a people role, mm. right? So uh, working working with our team, but working with clients as well. That's the that's the best bit about it. It's that it's the people for sure. That's great. Yeah. So what are some of the most challenging things you find about the role then? Well, I think on that, I think the fact that uh, I'm mean, certainly at the moment, um, we're not we're not face to face with particularly with clients. Um, and while we can, you know, we can definitely build relationships, it, it's I think it takes it takes longer. Um, and I think the, the, the thing that we're really missing is the, the sort of ad hoc creativity that comes out of face to face conversations or grabbing a coffee or going for a bit of lunch or maybe a beer you know <laughs> it's that stuff that because we're, we're obviously it's all very time boxed and there's not you know we, we're very focused when we have meetings you know we agenda what are we going to discuss it doesn't allow too much time for that sort of free flow of 
of conversation. That's the same. It's the same internally as well. I think we're we're missing that that kind of meandering conversation <laughs> to some of the best ideas sometimes. I, I find so that I think is the biggest challenge certainly at the moment. Yeah, I know. Just internally at Maidtech, our people team have been trying really hard to create that still so there's different um, meetings that you could pop into throughout the day if you just want to have a chat with someone I think there's donut time where you can meet someone for a coffee um, but it's still difficult it is hard when it's remote to still try and build those relationships and that stuff's great and, you know and as an organization certainly on the internal side you know we yeah we work really hard you know there's a couple of lunches that we arrange and like you said the donut time and people will, will reach out just for a coffee and all of that and, and that's brilliant but it's just not not quite the same. it's just not quite the same is it as, as hard as we try <laughs> right uh, do you have any advice for someone who wants to be a client principal um yeah i, I mean i think i think what's interesting at aidsec is that um the the role um this role particularly we we you know looking across the, the kind of cohort of other client principals is that we all come from a different we all come from a different background. So we've got people that come from a delivery background, from a technical background, from a sales background. Um, my background is client service, which perhaps you'd think would be the, I guess the traditional route or perhaps sales could be. Um, but I think it's, as long as you, you, know, you understand what, what, what good service looks like, you can build relationships, you can think strategically. I think it doesn't, it doesn't matter where you come from. So I guess mm. that the one bit of advice is don't, don't rule yourself out because you don't, because you think perhaps I, I, I don't come from a, 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 an area of a, a specialism and perhaps would lead naturally into this kind of role. I think it, as long as you can kind of demonstrate those key fundamentals, I think you can come from anywhere. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's a unique kind of thing about the role then. So. It is, yeah. It's not, it's not one set. Everybody brings something different to the table. I think that, that's what makes us as a cohort really, you know, as a team, really strong. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, what do you like most about working at Made Tech? I mean, there's a lot of, you know, repeat myself, but there's a lot of things to like. I think, uh, you know, I love, I love what we're doing, how we're doing it, why we're doing it. I love the ethos. I've got a lot of, um, a lot of respect in the in the leadership. I think we're we're going. It's exciting. There's, you know, we're, we're, you know, we're working with some brilliant clients. We're winning some great work. All of that stuff is brilliant, and it's an exciting place to work. The benefits, you know, all of all of it, it's great. But I think I'll go back to, you know previous answer I think the people are the best mm. best thing I think we've got some absolutely fantastic fantastically talented people here and that's and that's just great to, to be able to work with across any discipline experts uh, people who are experts in their field and just sort of constantly learning and be kind of inspired I think that's the that's the standout for sure yeah yeah it's it's a nice culture to be in where there is such an emphasis on learning because all these different industry, all these different um, fields and careers happening in made tech, you're just constantly learning. I mean, everyone wants to share what they're working on. Everyone wants to share what they're learning, um, which is fantastic. Well, that sense of just we're always, yeah, we, there's always more to learn. Nobody's yeah. expected to, to know it all at any point in their career. You know, there's always more to know. Um, yeah. And that investment, obviously, the more formal investment in learning, but that just that general culture of, you know, people, people will kind of offer themselves to, to kind of, oh, you know, we want to learn about this. I'm like, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll spend some time. Let's, let's talk about that. And that, that's a, and it's a supportive environment as well, isn't it? Everybody's looking out for everybody, which is, which is fantastic. Definitely, definitely. Uh, one last question for you. <laughs> Do you have any books or resources you would recommend for someone interested in a role like yours? Yeah, I mean, I'm not, not, a, not a great reader of, of sort of workbooks. Mm -hmm. struggle enough to to read normal books to be honest <laughs> to do that but I think for my role my role personally I think it's just really important to have a good a good sense of what's happening in the world mm -hmm. uh, within the within this country particularly you know obviously we're working with government be it local central uh, or healthcare you know there are there are national challenges that are facing those those sort of organizations I think it's just really important to, to understand you know why why certain decisions are being made and what what um what may have an influence on our clients what's the bigger picture so yeah, reading a lot of papers and trying to get that broad view um, i think it's really important nice nice well thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me it was really interesting hearing about your experience and what your role is like and if anyone would like to get in touch with maytech or has any more questions for rich about his role here i will add our contact information to the description below please feel free to reach out 
and be sure to stay tuned for our next Maytech team interview coming next month. Again, thank you so much for your time. Have a great rest of your afternoon. You too. Thank you.